వెస్టర్న్ ఆస్ట్రేలియన్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ కల్చర్ ఆర్ట్స్ లోకల్ గవర్నమెంట్ అండ్ హెరిటేజ్ పత్రికల సందీపిల్ కలందు గుండి పేసి తర్పులు కాణలం ది ఆనరబుల్ డేవిడ్ టెంపుల్ మ్యాన్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ కల్చర్ అండ్ ఆర్ట్స్ స్పోర్ట్స్ అండ్ రిక్రియేషన్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ హెరిటేజ్ వెస్టర్న్ ఆస్ట్రేలియా గవర్నమెంట్ ది ఆనరబుల్ రాజాహు కుక్ ఎంఎల్ఏ డిప్యూటీ ప్రీమియర్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ స్టేట్ ఎంప్లాయ్‌మెంట్ జాబ్స్ ట్రేడ్ టూరిజం కామర్స్ సైన్స్ వెస్టర్న్ ఆస్ట్రేలియా గవర్నమెంట్ Mr. Christopher Veerhuls, Head, Production and Screen West. Mr. Murli Ramanarayanan, President, Tamil Film Producers Council. Mr. Ravi Kottarakra, President, South Indian Film Chamber of Commerce. And uh, Mr. R.K. Salmini, you will be joining us. He is the President of the uh, Directors Association. Distinguished members of the delegation from Western Australia, colleagues from the media and entertainment task force of cii southern region friends from the industry good afternoon i take this opportunity to welcome the delegation from western australia to chennai and tamil nadu i am extremely delighted that you have included media and entertainment as a subject of interest in your schedule and let me tell you that there is no better place than chennai to discuss on this subject <laughs> the film and entertainment industry was one of the worst hit due the pandemic all our shoots were stopped and the livelihood of lakhs of people directly and indirectly engaged in this industry was at stake however we have bounced back strongly while ott has become an integral part of our life we are witnessing that people are going to theaters to watch films chennai is a key destination for this industry for decades and still continues to be in fact most of the state's chief ministers were and are directly engaged with this sector for many years as part of the media and entertainment task force of cii southern region we have taken it upon ourselves to work closely with all the stakeholders to end to enhance our competitiveness reach and scale all the pre- recent blockbusters in india cinema has been produced from south india in fact south india contributes to close 40% of india's revenue 50% of the films produced each year in india are from the south one of the biggest achievement over the last year in this subcommittee has been the maiden media and entertainment summit which we organized in chennai with over 60 speakers and 800 delegates by far it was the largest such event of this industry in south india and maybe for the country all of us learned and shared knowledge on the latest trends in the industry and how we should move forward in the new normal one of the key elements that came out as an outcome of the two day deliberation was on international collaborations and engagements very rightfully we are, we also released a report during the summit title regional in the is the new national highlighting the strengths of the south indian regional cinema i have given a copy of this extensive report to the honorable chief minister to explore possibilities that can bring us together and closer and from this perspective i am sure today's session will give us the opportunity to exchange thoughts and knowledge on how we can support each other and exp- explore synergy i hope that this session is the beginning of a long term engagement between india especially south india and western australia i have not been personally to australia but for many south indian films i have been shot there though these movies through these movies we have seen the beauty and the vast spread of nature that lovely country has been bestowed with i also invite the delegation to consider promoting south india for film shoots like australia we have wonderful beaches exotic hill stations long coastlines extended roadways and numerous studios cii will be the most happy to work closely with you on this request with you for few words i once again welcome all of you for this session thank you be with you today <clears throat> can i begin by first of all acknowledging um, distinguished guests mr tagarajan 
Thank you very much for your invitation and the opportunity to be with you. I have in front of me one of my parliamentary colleagues, Mr. Yasmu Barakai. Um, he's from Mumbai, but that's okay, right? I mean, it's wonderful, uh, it's wonderful to be here with you all. And, and um, we will be having a great discussion today about looking at the synergies and the opportunities of the film and television industry in, in, um, in Tamil Nadu to work with our people in Western Australia around uh, how we can uh, really capture, the, uh, capture opportunities for you uh, to come to Western Australia to, for, for uh, production or post-production work and continue to look at how we can make it easier for you to come and do more work in Australia. Um, yesterday I had the wonderful opportunity to sit down with Mr Kamal Hassan and uh, we had a great discussion about uh, the growth of the industry in, in southern India and the opportunities around strengthening the relationship between Western Australian film and television industry and, those, uh, and your industry here. You know, there's great economic outcomes that come, uh, with, come with, these, uh, with these discussions. But almost more importantly is the cultural outcomes. We want to grow our communities together. And we know that nothing brings and unites a community together more than the arts. And in Western Australia, we have a growing and vibrant Indian diaspora with over 150,000 people now who either were born in India or have Indian cultural heritage. And they make a huge contribution and, uh, to our society and enrich us. And they've spoken to me. They've spoken to me about their desire to have Indian production companies come to Western Australia and really explore the opportunities to do to utilise our unique environment, sir, to, um, to, uh, to create uh, excellent cinema and wonderful shooting opportunities. But we also have great post-production facilities. And one of the great things about this industry, particularly as technology becomes more and more vibrant and more and more important, is the way it engages young people. Uh, utilising just their creative skills and their technical knowledge to really continue to, uh, to grow this industry and take it to the next level. You know, the Indian film industry is extraordinary. It's one that we admire and it's one that we are constantly overwhelmed by the size, the vibrancy and the production levels. And we want to continue to learn from that. And we want to work with the, the Southern Indian film industry in partnership to really explore how we can continue to grow our industries together. We have so much to learn from you. And today's uh, roundtable is a great opportunity for us to learn about the strengths and the challenges in your industry and the opportunities and the challenges to bringing your, your, your teams and, and production teams to Western Australia and and uh, our, our people across to, um, to Tamil Nadu. So thank you very much for the opportunity to work with you today. We've got some uh, very talented people. Uh, I'm looking at Mr. Nilesh Mikwana down the front here, who has recently published a book on his experiences growing up in Western Australia, having come from, from India. Uh, his story is, is like many young people's stories who come to, come to Western Australia. We'd love for that to be part of the vibrancy of this great film industry. Thank you very much, everyone. Very much looking forward to this morning's discussion. Roger Cook, Cook and the, who's the Deputy Premier for the Western Australia. And my dear friends from the film industry, as my friend Mr. Tagarajan said that India is, makes a lot of films especially Tamil Nadu being the hub for the entire southern film industry. In fact, of late, as Mr. Thayarajan said, our Tamil industry stands tall, really tall, along with the Telugu industry. We rank number one and number two. That is, both the posts are taken by Tamil and Telugu. After that, only follows the film industry from our, what we call as the Hindi film industry. Today, Hindi film industry has come to rank number three. Sorry to say that. Because even I represent Film Federation of India, I'm the secretary there too. So I can proudly say that. Sir, the culture of Tamil Nadu. Sir, we are sitting in this country, rather so a place where the, one of the oldest languages in the history of world was found, sir. Tamil. That is the same Tamil, the greatest language was started, was founded here, sir, in Tamil Nadu. And from Chennai, 
we made lot of films thousands of thousands of films have been made in chennai and the most important thing is chennai cultured heritage arts and film industry was cultured here sir in fact i have to tell you that there is one more great incentive which is there that is the indian government and the australian government have not signed a co production treaty india has signed a co production treaty with 15 countries but we have not signed with the australian government i kindly request you to take it forward we will sign a co production treaty between india and australia that's the most important thing that's one by doing so what do you get i'll just run through because i got a lot of speakers here and lot of things has to be discussed one thing is india has also started helping and giving you know a single window clearances for foreign film shooting in india so in case if australian film producers would like to come and shoot in india we got a variety of locations okay and we could do one thing more we give them incentives and subsidy up to 2 lakh 60 thousand dollars were was announced on may 18th at kan where the indian government has announced 2 lakh 60 thousand dollars as subsidy so similarly what i would just request is let us make this productive there's a huge population of indians in australia especially in western australia in fact even my daughter lives at perth <laughs> okay okay so so let us make this useful engage in co-production you know create better ties australia is well done you know they have they produced fantastic films we have you know but let us join together make a mark somewhere there and make great films once again i thank everyone from the film industry who was attending this meeting and from the australian government please make this useful and you know some of the important points my dear premier can i can i just uh, tell you i'll just run through some of the important points which i would like sir we would like to have a single window permission in case i've got great producers here in fact this very moment when i'm speaking to you there are around 11 films being shot 11 films being shot abroad 11 films because we have taken calculations and who gets the benefit the country where the shooting takes place because they get film tourism it's a new you know it's a new era where the you know people like here i've got my friend called ramji who's you know he looks after nearly around 60% of all film shootings which take place abroad so it is good for australia in case you ask our indian films to come and shoot there in australia and how do you do that give them a single window per permission one ease of giving visa the visa should be granted as soon as you you know is requested to next give us an exhaustive detail locations pictures and what locations you've got that is important next they must be locate all locations should get access immediately we should give us permissions to shoot in these locations huh eh? the, the location that will come next <laughs> next is next is most important is incentives or subsidies or grants next next is labor labor permissions in case we come there you should give permissions for our laborers to work there <laughs> that's it that's it sir. and the most sir the problem is i'll tell you we talk we come have many meetings we talk and we go away but we forget to continue and you know make this dream a reality that is what i'm trying to do sir i'm trying to do it so that that is that is a fantastic detailed list of of things that we have to do i'm i'm not familiar with the co-production agreement but i will make that happen i will make that happen can i can also say mr chris veras from um from screen west will provide you with details of the incentive schemes today so we're very much looking forward to um making that and one thing i forgot to mention before we're in western australia we're currently building a 100 million dollar uh, film studio so we'll provide you with great facilities to work in on behalf of india i'll just speak to our lord and the minister mr anurag thakur and also tell him to take this up we will surely sign a treaty let that be the 16th country which india signs a treaty a co-production treaty but last but not the least sir your australian government especially western australia government tying tying up all you know uh, treaties with india will benefit australia more than india because i'll tell you you are joining with and south india south india represents tamil telugu kannada malayalam four languages 
and especially we are sitting in Tamil Nadu, which is supposed to be the hub of the southern film industry. And in this place, only the Indian cinema create, went, you know, to create, got the best heights, you know, all the best awards, best films. You Recently, you have heard, there are big, big films like Tripura, Pushpa, and uh, KGF. All these are big films, you know, which made uh, box office hits. All these films, uh, Vikram, the last but not Vikram, which created history, which created history, rather say, all these films are South Indian films. So, I kindly request a Premier, take this opportunity. I'm asking you, the Premier to take this opportunity, join with South India, join with Tamil Nadu, let us create a huge new history of success by jointly making films. Thank you, sir. Sorry, I've taken a lot of your time. Thank you, Ravijit. A uh, um, couple of good points definitely we have noted, and I know a couple of things. Um, I'm sure Deepad will take uh, special interest, Minister. Um, and um, we have noted, and some of the things I think Chris is going to cover anyway on the permit uh, location and one stop window. And um, uh, WA government is very keen on that. Um, and Minister, our, our Deputy Premier was uh, vocal uh, in his life science and health background. I know that he wanted to one stop shop for uh, clinical trials in Australia. I'm sure you'll think it in the, that line uh, one day. It'll, it will be in uh, reality soon. Uh, before we finish this um, uh, proceeding, if I may ask Mr. Murali Ramanarayan to uh, say a few words, and then we'll go to the round table. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, well, uh, well, on behalf of uh, Tamil Producers Council, uh, welcoming the uh, Deputy Premier Honourable Roger Hack Cook and uh, the delegates uh, from Australia and the producers welcoming everybody. And as Tia uh, Rajan sir said and uh, Ravi Kotrakara has been explained about what the producers will need in the collaboration, all the, the producers also. We need the comfortability on uh, incentives, subsidies and the travelling things and we are expecting uh, that and uh, looking for the opportunity uh, for the producers and I think uh, this this is a start for uh, uh, in uh, for the Indian film makers to explore the Australian Australia for this uh, film productions and uh, looking forward it uh, thank you